let me hold this up while I'm here. I got too much juice on this plate. The nice dinner, y'all, is greens, potato salad, ribs, and a piece of hot water cornbread. Ooh, I didn't drain those greens well. Well, I got an apple pot. Happy Friday, everybody. Happy Friday. How y'all doing tonight? Whew. It's a little warm in here. Y'all, it's been a week. I don't think I've seen y'all for a few days. And honey, I've been working like a dog this week. And oof, I came home, y'all. I had to go to the restroom. So I jumped out the car, left my stuff in the car, my bag. So I went to the post office and stopped and got these ribs. And y'all, I um just took a shower and put on me some different, some house clothes. And honey, I tied my hair up. And I'm going to, when I get through eating, I'm going to tell you right now what I'm going to do. Get some room and call it a quit. Anyway, y'all, let me say my blessings. Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for the food I'm about to receive, for the nourishment of my body. In Christ's name, amen. And y'all, these are some greens I had had in the freezer, and I took them out this morning. My intent was to cook something. I was going to go to the grocery store. But I didn't feel like doing that, so I stopped and got the real and the potato salad from this place called One and Only. And I just put the greens in the pot and warmed them up and made me some hot piece of hot water cornbread. Y'all know how we do. Y'all know how we do. Mm. And for the drink, y'all, later tea. I normally get my Ruby of Flow from this place called Dixie Queen. But she was drinking a Ruby the other day. A diet bar and making it sound so good. Told her I wanted to make me a root beer float. And, um, but y'all, let me tell y'all. It wasn't that good. Don't use the diet root beer. I, it, I really could taste the difference. Get the real root beer. So y'all know what I did. I went and got me a real root beer today to drink this. Yes. Uh, yes, I did. To make me one this weekend. Cause, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That wasn't that all that. So anyway, I like that potato salad, y'all. Mm -hmm. So what y'all having tonight? And how has your week been? Mine has been pretty, pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to have a giveaway, and it'll be at the end of the video what you got to do. So, I'm going to try to put the, the time down in the description. If you don't want to sit through this whole meal. My husband. I have had a week. I don't know what's wrong with these glasses. Ugh. They're about to drive me to drink. Yeah. So, after I got out of the shower and slipped something on, tell me why I, um, I, um, went out to the car, right? I put on these house shoes I had bought from Target. They were like $3 or something like that. On, uh, um, I um went out to the car. I kept saying, Lord, these house shoes was worth that. They wasn't worth that. These house shoes terrible. Who are they terrible? They're so uncomfortable. Try to tell me why. Y'all tell me. Why I get in the house? I'm like, what is these are the worst house shoes in the world. I'm serious, y'all. I look down at my feet. So these things hurt. They supposed to be comfortable. I'm going to put these in a good wheel. How about I had darn shoes on the wrong foot, y'all? Yeah. Yeah. I said, Lord. I know I'm tired. I got boxes every freaking wheel. 
I got to try to clean up this weekend. Now, my daughter God, another one of my good friends, having a Christmas party tomorrow, and oof. I hate not to go, but. I'm telling you too. My daughter calling. Um, she uh, went to Atlanta this weekend. One of her friends she met while she was in college there is on the transplant list for the kidney. And she asked him about a month ago. Could they come to Atlanta? She said she had had a real bad situation. She actually moved from Atlanta and went back home. A real bad situation. Um, where she didn't think she was going to make it. And she has a son, a small child. And so she said she just wanted to go back to a time. You know, she hopes she's still enough to where she had a good time in her life and she wasn't sick and. You know, and she wanted to hang out with the friends she hung out with. So, my daughter with some of her other college friends are meeting up in Atlanta. So, y'all, sometimes we take, I have aches and pains, but sometimes we take being healthy for granted. So, y'all ask that y'all pray for the young lady and, you know. Good. <clears throat> yeah, that's y'all. What was y'all eating good today? Mm -hmm. Christmas done happen so quick, y'all. They just don't make no sense. Already up on us. It'll be two to one eighteen. So you know what? Food is so good. And I don't work so hard. Oh, I'm saying. I popped up on a pan of iron. It was yesterday at work. I kept working. And the day about three o'clock, I had been on the spreadsheet. And I don't know. I ain't gonna no need me going lunch now. They almost all with. So I left there at four or nine. I was like, I gotta get out of here. I was starving too. So I got me a little fruit cup and ate that while I was driving. From the barbecue place. It has some um what do it have in cantaloupe and honeydew melon and grapes. Just a little small for a cup of. It's, oh, excuse me now. It sure helped me out. My brother said that he wanted to go out this weekend too. I'm hoping he won't go Sunday and stay at. He says a new crab boy place open here. And he was wanting to go. So, and that would be good. Yeah. <clears throat> mm. I totally got lost of what I was going to say. Most of my been for it. Mmm. That's going real good. Mmm. -hmm. Y'all know what? 
green down this morning right before I left. And I sell them on the counter. I didn't sell them in the refrigerator to the frost. They were still kind of frozen. I was like, hmm. No, it's that slushy kind of ice, but I'm like, man. <clears throat> you would think. Oh, those greens good. That ain't nothing like some fresh greens. I got enough for a few servings in there because, like I said, when I cook that big pot, I put some in the freezer. But I'm like a gun, especially if somebody had them on sale while I'm all cook another pot since I took that little carton down out the freezer. Anyway. My co-worker know I love seafood. She said, I know you have this tonight. I said, I don't know today. So, the fish restaurant I go to is in a total opposite direction. And honey, I was trying to make my little stop and get on with the get on. Mmm. Who is good, y'all? Um, Mm, 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 mm. I think I look nice in it, huh? All of a sudden. Everybody out there, I've been bringing in sweets every day on my life. I did eat a donut this morning. They got this place in Memphis called Gibson's Donuts. They sell good donuts. So, she bought jelly filled donuts, but they had this apple filled donut. It's so good. It's got sugar on some on the outside. So, I went down there and got me one. I bought cookies. I don't make it no better. I bought cookies in Monday. On yesterday, somebody bought in. His wife made some shrimp rolls, but I didn't eat one. Another guy was walking around with some peanut butter cookies and chocolate cookies with the Hershey kisses. His wife made them. I said, Oh, thank God. I ain't no big sweet though. So. I have really messed up in here. That don't tempt me. I tell you, they get the year they be bringing them chips and dips, I be marching back and forth. But that donut was good today. They always have food at our job, but this time it is just a hot mess. From Halloween on, it just be, ooh, food, food, food. Mm. I need to find my Zantac. I'm probably going to need some. I don't know what I did with it. That I have a hot dog. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go. So I don't bust out of the table. I'm starting to go on vacation, y'all. Doing sometimes, yeah. I'm not co worker. Her and her family. She leaving for her Saturday. This this Saturday. They leaving out of Mobile. Alabama. Whew. Oh my 
have a fool, y'all. Was it the last bomb? I didn't really say no. But that was delicious. I enjoyed it anyway. Ooh. I hope I can sleep in here tomorrow about 8 30. Mm. Oh, you're on try. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Post office was jam packed when I went and took my P.O. box. So I'm just about done, y'all. So. I'll tell y'all that the giveaway. Opens today. There will be four winners. Three adults and one child. But it's not anything good. So. Remember of the clean plate club, y'all. Yes, I am. Well, that was good. Yes, it was. My hands are sticky, but you don't know about that. Okay. Y'all, the contest is called Savings. So, in order to enter this contest, this is to start your savings off for next year. This is the savings 52-week plan for adults. There are several out there, but this is the one I use this year, and this is the one I'll be using again uh, for next year. I probably will do something else along with this to try to increase my savings. So, at the end of the 52-week year, you will have $1,378. Now, I didn't follow my plan exactly. I would just, when I had the money, I would just pick the week I had the money. If I had $40 week one, I just scratched off week 40. But you can follow the plan. This is the children's 52-week plan. I don't know if y'all can see that good or not. And at the end of their 52-week plan, they will have $344.50. And you should make it fun and make it something where they can earn their money and save. And it, like I said, this may not be a realistic goal. There are several out there on the uh, Google and then Pinterest. And you can find one that suits you. You may not be able to save, but $3, $4 a week, whatever. You just make start somewhere. What you will be getting... You will be entered in a drawing. You will get a copy of the 52-week saving plan, but again, you do not have to use it, and you will get $10. $10 for the adult plan will cover weeks one, weeks two, weeks three, and weeks four. At the end of week four, you should have a $10 save, so you will start the year off already with your $10. And again, there will be three winners drawn for this. You will receive a copy of the plan and a crisp ten dollar bill to start your savings save it in a jar in an envelope or however you want to save it and that's just to show you that you don't have to start big you can start small just to save and what i need you to do you can make whatever comment you want to down in the comment section but in order to enter you must enter hashtag savings if you're entering your child you must reply to your comment and say the child's name, the age, 
and a child can be anywhere from 0 to 17 years old. Say the child's name and then hashtag savings for kids. Savings for kids. Again, you will enter your comment, hashtag savings. You will reply to your comment if you're entering a child. Hashtag, enter the child's name, the age. Hashtag savings for kids. It doesn't have to be your child. It could be a child you know. It can be uh, your nephew, your niece, your grandchild, or whomever. But make sure the, um, you pin our hashtag for kids. Y'all, let's get this going. I will announce the winners. I think I'm going to try to do a live on December 22nd. And I will announce the winners on December 22nd. This drawing entry will close December 21st at 11.59 p.m. December 21st at 11.59 p.m. This uh uh, this uh, giveaway will close. So, y'all, let's get it going. Like I said, hashtag savings for you. Hashtag savings for kids for the child. It will be three adult winners, one child winner. Let's get it going. Y'all, let me show you my mail with y'all. I got some, got some friend mail in the mail today. Yes, I did. Y'all, guess who this is from? No. This is from Mal and Keisha. Isn't that a lovely Christmas card? Y'all, do y'all watch um, a, a Walk in a Fat Woman's Shoes? And look, little Alonzo, Curtis, the whole family signed the card. That is so sweet. However you celebrate this year, hoping the warmest of holiday traditions fills your home with happiness. Love, Keisha and Mal and family. That is so sweet. Thank you, Keisha and Mal. Y'all go over and check out a Walk in a Fat Woman's Shoes. That was so, so sweet. I'm going to put that up. And I also got a card from Tracy. And Tracy has a channel also. And it's Nova Scotia Living. She's always doing something smart and cooking. And she has a house filled with love. And oh, she sent me a lighthouse picture. Isn't that nice? A lighthouse card. Oh, I wanted to send you a card during this holiday season to let you know how special and positive you are to me. You keep it real. Share stories with words of wisdom. I always look forward to sitting down and eating a meal with you when my house is a circus. A beautiful circus, though. She does. She has a lovely family. Have a wonderful Christmas with love, hugs, faith, and, of course, yummy food. May the Christmas season fill your home with joy, your heart with love, and your life with laughter. Merry Christmas, Tracy and Martin. Medaya, Marquise, Mal I don't want to mess up all these damn names. <laughs> Peace, love, and happiness. But she put everybody today down, Nas and Nova Scotia Living. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you so much, Tracy. I love you all, and I appreciate you thinking of me to send me a card. Anyway, y'all, thank you for joining me for this Friday night. And I appreciate it, y'all. I'm going to get myself somewhere and get me some sleep. Get me some rest so I can get up and at least do some work in my house. Because I've been on the go and I've just been throwing stuff everywhere. But I want you to know that you're loved. I love you. But God loves you the most. Remember to always be kind to yourself and others. Be joyful and be blessed. And have a wonderful, beautiful night and a peaceful night's rest. I'm going to have to go get these glasses tightened, I think. Anyway, y'all, good night. Love you.